But that girl think think. Look at her cheese. She think think. <laughs> Hmm, she reached the middle. <laughs> that doesn't look that comfortable right now. On here they actually show that it used to be a drawbridge. Why is it comfortable right now? No, come move. <laughs> no, come move. I can see how high we are. Is it a woman? A woman with her dog? Because that's a dog, and I see two boobies. But if they reach down there, they would be killed right here. Damn, that's well, crazy. I mean, hot, hot tar. You know what that would do for you. Welcome back. Um, today the weather is nice as you can see, you know, sun shining on our faces and all that. <laughs> and yeah, we just decided that we would take a walk and we're going to take you along. So you're going to get to see a bit of scenery and stuff. But yeah, let's just take a walk. Let's walk over there actually. This used to be my... Um, Playground. playground when I was a child so this playground over here is where you know if I was bored in the apartment I would come here and you know just play a little um, you know you have the seesaw swing this um, thing to climb it used to be different though when you were it small. used to be a nicer nicer yeah it's not nice anymore it is um they took away a few stuff and yeah it's not as it used to be because this huge ass building never used to be here either so this is basically like a small park behind right yeah beside the the house oh and i buried a turtle <laughs> over there i had a pet turtle and he's buried right there by these bushes <laughs> <laughs> but yeah uh, so this is like a little park where you can just come you know in in the summer it's nice to sit outside and stuff like that statue there is Bismarck and then um, there's another park basically right beside it <laughs> but this one is um, right beside uh, what the uh, art museum so in the park itself, they have like a few small... I didn't show them, that is a statue of Bismarck. Bismarck was the first oh. chancellor of Germany. So do you guys want to see the first chancellor of Germany? Yeah. This statue is old, old, old. So... Bab Otto von Bismarck. A bunch of German words on an aga understand anyways. Chancellor from 1871 <laughs> to 1890. Oh yeah, this statue is right in the middle of this park here. And it has been standing out here forever. And then they have this, this, what, what do you call this? A weather, weather house. A weather house. So, you can come here and see um, the solar rays, the measurement for that, um, the speed of uh, wind, wind and wind direction. The direction. This is the time. Um, here you have the temperature. 
So right now it is between 20 and 21 degrees Celsius. Um, in humidity. This is the air. humidity mm. and the air pressure. And then this is just. I think they said, is this here since 1911? It was around 1911. Yeah. No, this is here since 1951. Oh. And actually this thing has uh, been with me, around me, my whole childhood. Because that apartment where we are in, mm -hmm. I was, uh, I grew up in there. Mm -hmm. And all this park was same like you, was my playground. Mm -hmm. And this little place here. Actually what happened here, my mother brought me here. And then the kindergarten ladies. Mm -hmm. used to pick up all the children here and walk us mm -hmm. on, a, on a laundry line mm -hmm. where we had to hold on yeah. to our kindergarten uh, and then when in the afternoon they brought us back right here so the parents had to come and pick us up here so, so this, this was the pickup spot yeah <laughs> this thing has accompanied me my whole life so yeah, so <coughs> basically any form of information about the weather you can get here if you need it. Um, but yeah, over here we have this art museum park that I was telling you about. Like so the building over there is a high school for boys. Hold Actually, on, it used to be cross a real quick. Boys. So mommy's talking about that building over there. Um, that's a uh, high school. It only used to be for boys, but now it's both it's of them, both, right? Yeah, and, and one underneath we can go another time. Mm -hmm. was where I went to school. Where mommy went where to I school. school. <laughs> and this is art. This is some it's art piece. Art. So you can walk in here, you know. Let's take a walk. in the middle yeah. mm -hmm, she reached the middle <laughs> <laughs> but this is called the let me see spiral pavilion the spiral pavilion and it has been here since 2001 yeah 1999 2001 so all right fun fact guys germany is extremely strict with what you are allowed to video and stuff like that well not what you are allowed to video but people can actually sue you if you put them on your video without consent so that's why, you know, sometimes I won't be showing the surrounding too much if there are too many people because we don't want no troubles. <laughs> we don't want but no anyhow, troubles. But anyhow, this square building over there, that's our uh, Kunsthalle. It's a I'll hall of art. I'll show it when we get closer. But you have this step thingy right here where it's just a bunch of stairs. Um, nothing too special and yeah um, I don't know too many people are here right now so maybe on the way back there will be there will be less people this used to be this used to be a deep um, pool basically not to swim not to swim in or anything it was a it was a fountain like there were a bunch of ducks in there and stuff but then they renovated it and put this shallow ass thing in here i don't know why but yeah this is what it looks like now so you have the water running through the stones and stuff and then you have this little 
box building. I don't know what to call it, honestly. Um, but this was only put here in the last, since I've been back in Germany, so I said the last five years. Um, but it's just basically a wooden building. I'm not sure if you can see inside. Oh yeah. It's so, a weekend house actually. Is what their idea is a revolutionary weekend house. This ain't so, no damn weekend house. You can't do nothing in this. That may I say you know, <laughs> This whole thing never made sense. You can't do shit in there. So yeah. Um then they have stuff like this. Like they just basically have random pieces. They have this metal thing which is called the metrical what is that the metrical romanesque, romanesque construction. construction from 1982 1982 so so that's what Bielefeld have money for <laughs> <laughs> that's what they have money for and then yeah, over you use the climb to I use thing. yeah there is actually there's actually, you see that eight over there? I used to sit on there, climb on there. Yeah, all my children, stuff. all of them. Let's actually go closer to it. <laughs> Let's go closer. So this eight figure right here. Um, so, you know, you can sit on it right here. It doesn't look that comfortable right now. It is actually. To be honest. And then I used to climb up here and sit up there. But what we have to show you now is this absolutely wonderful, I don't know how many years old, I mean, ages old chestnut tree. Look at this. Tall, big broad and beautiful <laughs> all right so we're continuing our tour um so the museum yeah, park is good. there and we are heading up there to the Spangenburg. that's a old castle that's an old castle from um 1256 so we're heading all the way up there guys so, <laughs> mommy is not excited. I want to go. <laughs> mommy is not excited no. about the walking part because it's on a hill. So, you know, we're walking up here. Me and climbing up mommy, Me? mommy no. exercise yeah, is right. good. I kill you, won't kill me. <laughs> oh, guys, so we actually have a river here. <laughs> You can't swim in it or nothing, so no mermaid action. But this is the river, the little river that we have left running through the the center of the town. It's called the Luther. Um, yeah, not very nice. <laughs> and it's on that side as well. But yeah, and there is a. Uh, Tube. Straßenbahn nennt man Tube, ne? Tram? Oh, a tram, sorry. Tube is in London. Tube is, so is a tube the underground ones? Yeah. And then the one on the road are the trams? Okay. So this is the beginning of the hill. <laughs> Mommy, you ready? No. You excited? No. Why not? No way. Why not? Mommy say it's actually quite warm right now. 
So she ended up taking off her her jacket. And yeah. It's annoying trying to cut out people. I mean I could blur out their faces but not a woolly power to um yeah I'm sure when it when it when it um snows mommy when it snows that they use this little hill to slide down on oh yeah yeah <laughs> oh, we made it to the base of the thing we just came up the stairs let me show you how many stairs it's about what 5 10 15 20 25 30 stairs um but yeah we made it to the base and we're still going to need to go all the way the entrance is right there. So we're going to walk up this way. Oh, but it feels good, doesn't it? No? Maybe after. <laughs> so you can see it from here. Um, <laughs> you can see it. but there are quite a few people up here because the weather is really nice today so you know once the sun come out a little bit everybody wants to come out so yeah this is the the plan of the grounds um so we are right at this red dot right now and yeah we're just going to take a walk and just look at everything in english too oh yeah <clears throat> so there you can see the red dot you are here and visitor center courtyard restaurant building tower tower dungeon well armory um, um I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm out of breath. Kickstart base basin basin. Kick. What's that? It's a name of it. Oh. Aldo Rondo. Windmill. Of a name. Sherpen Tyner. Schuster Saint Mary's. Actually, Bastion. all these bastions. Mm -hmm. They used to fire from them. You know, if people were attacking, mm -hmm. they would stand right here. So practically all four sides were defended mm -hmm. and would shoot from up there down on the people mm. who would try to storm the Invade. castle. Yeah. <coughs> so is it here? Oh yeah. 1256. Same English as well. Oh. See? So you guys can Pause the video if you like to and take a read. Um, yeah, we're just going to continue now. <laughs> hmm? It is 800 and more years old. Whatever we see here. Yeah. Because 1260 to 2021, it's. 2000, yeah, 2000, quick maths. Seven, what, 1260 to 740 and 21, 761, 761 years. Oh. Actually, it's 850, they say, all in all. Oh. But this was started first. Oh. But this bridge that they made here, this is this new. This day they renovated that. This would be so. actually a wooden bridge, a draw bridge. Yeah, so they could, you know, yeah, they completely renovated. separate themselves from the outside. So. Imagine a drop bridge here 
and then these walls are so high you know you wouldn't really make it up that far and but even for walk people from up there too, you know? even these walls are renovated right well i guess they clean them up and maybe fix them to a degree yeah, yeah. but basically the base is still yeah the original look at the opening down there there are several of them and they lead, lead to the underground uh, cellars and stuff which and there used to be a prison down there and everything mm. So, those are the places that can, um, they don't allow people in there any longer now, but we, when I was young, we had parties down there. And <laughs> <laughs> then they don't party out in the nice cellar them. Not this one, there's one more around the corner, that one. Mm. Mom is tired. <laughs> Mom has to take a rest. I'm alright. I'm going to get up again now. <laughs> okay. And this used to be uh, the living quarters part of the living quarters. This house right here. Uh -huh. And it has a restaurant in it now. So this used to be the living quarters, and now it's a restaurant. Where should we start? Well, we can walk around and come back to you. Yeah. But this. Look down if you can. Kind of hard to see. Alright, I'm gonna try from that side. But they did use, like, in case people would invade, they used this opening. Of course, it wasn't uh, covered with metal at that time. And through uh, heated tar on the people. What the if hell? They did it would come from down here and we, have, we would have to walk through here uh -huh. and it would throw heated tar in this hole and kill them what the hell? yeah man that's historic so they would enter from the, the bottom they, if and they managed to enter somewhere they would be down there first probably uh -huh. because up here would be practical, practically impenetrable uh -huh. But if they reach down there, they would be killed right here. Damn, that's because, crazy. I mean, hot, hot tar. You know what that would do to you. Well, I was trying to show you in there, but basically it's just like... It's a, very deep. It's going a, right down to the... A tunnel. But you can't see it too <laughs> good. So... Alright, we're going to head to the first bastion. Um... Look at our shadows. Shadow, shadow. Say hi in your shadow. <laughs> you didn't do it. You were supposed to say hi with your shadow. How do I say hi like this? Yes, you wave. <laughs> oh, <see. laughs> okay, this is the first question. And as you can see, if Peter would come try to invade from down there, they could shoot them easily uh -huh. from this side. So and we're quite high up right now. Actually this, I don't remember how much it was, like the whole thing. Hundreds of meter including the, the tower. Well, I guess it will be written somewhere around there. And the uh, towers, two towers you see there. This is the the, the view from here. Right. So that's the town of Bielefeld. This tower right here, that brown pointed tower or roof, I should say, that is from a church. And then, you know, behind there is just the city basically as you can see we don't have a ton of high rises yeah it's well though but it's those not really growing that high it is uh, those buildings are quite high as well though don't forget that yeah but this is nothing compared like frankfurt for example as you have seen they yeah i know but skyline. those we are not those are not just one or two story houses those are yeah they are high eight, eight, five, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. 
Yeah. Defense. So all of those are still like pretty high. And those two church towers in World War II were completely destroyed. To the wall down there. The mm -hmm. wall is still original, but the roof part uh, was reconstructed. Oh, okay. <coughs> And what they started as well is like these locks. They have this in Cologne um, at a bridge where, you know, couples, couples who just, you know, I guess show their love for each other on these with these locks. They just put it on not too long. Oh yeah, that was in January this year. Um, so you know they go to somewhere and engrave their names and stuff in it. And have it here so you can see. This is from 2004. You can see 2020. all along here. They just put stuff on. So yeah but the trees are quite high on this end so you can't really see much at night time it is really beautiful because you know the city lights up and you can see all the lights from all the houses and stuff so maybe one 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 of these days in the evening i would come up here and show you the night view well let's continue let's continue um, but they basically just put a bunch of benches and stuff around the place so people can come here, you know, sit and hang and just chill out, especially when the weather is nice. So yeah, there are a lot of people up here, <laughs> um, but more like in the restaurant area and stuff. But we're just going to continue walk around a bit and show you like the amazing views that we have up here and yeah let's see what else we can get to show you guys oh well, it says we saw. this is um, excavation this is new But no, wasn't there like a big ass field right here? Yeah, it was just grass. Yeah. They dug it out. Oh, so they dug it out from from under the grass. Oh, because I remember when we thing was one 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 big field yeah, of one, grass. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and they did, it looked like they discovered it and dug it out and and have it now for presentation. Interesting, because I was but just it used like, to be all one e one level. Yeah. So this is the next bastion. Um, From this bastion it was possible both to defend and to dominate the town militarily. So basically when you look from this side over that used to be the old town. Actually maybe we can find our house. Show them where we are. No live. we can't. They oh, blocked off now. Oh. So. oh they locked it. Okay. Um, no, we are not even allowed to touch it. The wall. <laughs> so they used uh, four cannons in 1631. So a passageway connects the casemates within it with the windmill bastion, which is, I think, the next one coming. So, I mean. Would you believe we are not allowed to touch the wall here? They have a sign, do not touch. It is a uh, video uh, camera it's, supervised. Yeah. Wow. So I'm not going to touch that. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is the view from this side. So you can see, this is the church I was telling you about, guys. So that um, brown roof and that bluish turquoise looking um, roof is all the church and then you just have a bunch of houses and stuff around 
and those houses are yeah those are just a bunch of residential houses um back there where you see that big gray modernized um building that's more in the town center so these are more the residential areas and stuff like that and that back there is a town center what did he say Hmm? Our house. Mm -hmm. Where? You see the row of green greenery on the left side? Mm -hmm. Go to the house where you see the white bigger wall. Mm -hmm. We're a little bit behind us. So our house should be somewhere around there not about here yeah so we walked from there to almost here we sure did the castle here is the history of the castle it was a residence of the counts of ravensberg because all what you see around us here now was called ravensberger country mm -hmm. It is. It was like a county ship at the time, and as you can see, this is from 1214, the old town, and where Melody did show you where our house is. Our house belongs to the old town. So where we live is actually a very historical place for Bielefeld. Okay. <coughs> so here's the text as well guys if you want to take a read or whosoever is interested just pause the video and then you can read it um no you want to show over there let's show this side okay, first no. uh the forest is, is called the teutoburger forest mm -hmm. and it is huge i mean this is just a very small part of it and that is where the old Germans used to live. And as you can see again here, yeah, it's pretty high where we are standing. Yeah. So if you look over there and try and look down, you can't see. It's really, really high. So Bielefeld, as you can see, is quite a green town. We, uh, we have quite a few trees and forests and parks and... and it is not very, very grey and just industry. Although Bielefeld has a lot of industry as well. Mm -hmm. Basically, our town started, or not started, but was famous for the production of linen. Mm -hmm. This is an old linen town, and, and people from all over Germany used to come here to buy their linen. Mm. So, this was a very important market, strategic market point. Mm -hmm as well because i mean you had those those um, harbor towns for example like hamburg and bremen and these towns they were important because they were close to the riv big rivers or to the sea uh -huh. and this was like a middle point between the so more southern part of germany uh -huh. and they would come here take a rest and buy linen and go up to hamburg and those places to uh -huh. load it even on ships and transport it abroad. Okay. So we, Bielefeld was, was getting pretty wealthy around 1300, 1400 up mm -hmm. because uh, it was an important strategic point yeah. for marketing. Okay. Interesting. Um, but yeah, this is the view from this side. So we're just going to continue. Let's go to the other corner over there. Oh, look. Here are stones with engraved things in there. I think you can uh, buy a stone. Oh, yeah. There's a bunch of names on here. So you probably can, you know, purchase a stone. What they do is they donate money and then they get a stone. Oh, they donate money and then they get a stone. Maybe you don't get it for 10 euros, so you must. 
So there's just a bunch of names on these stones here. Oh. Oh. Well, it seems like people think it brings luck if you leave money. <laughs> so there's a statue here um, of the castle grounds. Yeah. So yeah, this is basically just a statue of the grounds. Um, and you know one thing you love about so wait, this thing? Wait, wait, wait. Uh -huh. We are standing somewhere right here. Right? So that means the ruins here are this building. Because yeah. this is not here anymore. Because no. see, the castle is right there. Which yeah. is this castle. That building. That building. And then this used to be the ruins right here then so that is what is not there anymore and you like no let me like who they use uh, braille braille for blind people as yeah. well, so everybody can on here they actually show that it used to be a drawbridge so you could see it's not connected so they could you know pull it up and completely separate so that's interesting yeah, so we started here, walked all the way down here, and now we are over here. So we walked in here and basically followed all the way around to this side. So this is the, the, the third one, so we weren't allowed to enter that one, but we can enter this one. So you kind of get a feeling of the size of it all. It's quite big. So are the windmills as well. If they can see that. <laughs> Remember to the eye, it's different than on camera. She's trying to show you that windmill. No, that, uh... Back there, Germany signal. is big on, on getting energy from windmills, huge windmills, and by now I see one, two, three, there was one more, yeah, one over here. I can only pick up one on the camera. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We have more than that and on the other side of the town as well, and it actually provides a good amount of, of our electricity. It has been a, a, a great source of electricity since quite a few years now. Mm -hmm. But the sun is hitting right, oh, guys. Oh, I love it. <laughs> and see, dear Dr. Epka, the sun. Wait. Let's head over here. But the oh, sun. Dear. Oh my God. I'm loving the sun right <laughs> now. I'm loving the sun right now. Um, so, remember we spoke about, I think it was on a live video. We Dr. spoke Anna. about, about dot, dot, I can't say it. Why can't I speak today? Doctor Edgar, see Doctor the sign. Ed turn it now because it's turning. Mommy, it it's will so turn mad. again. <laughs> Jesus Christ, why are you rushing me? You see how she love rush me? Calm down. We're not in any ace. So, Doctor Edgar is over there. Um, see the sign turning. So this is, as mommy was telling you already, it you know, originates from here. Actually in that building. And in that building, so you know, we got the real deal right here, man. Um, they actually provide tours and stuff in there, so maybe one of these days we can go and, yeah, if, um, and do a tour. Yeah, would you guys be interested of um, in a tour of the 
Dot Dot Edgar um, Fabric A Boutique Factory <laughs> See? <laughs> There's German Me speaking more German is fucking up my English right now um, Factory So you know, I remember going there when I was in school So they showed the, the, the first time machines that they used and so and yeah, there's, kind of there's a lot of stuff you can see in there I used to work there one summer as a student. I think I was like 15, no, 16, mm -hmm. for three weeks. And uh, they put me in the lab, mm -hmm. in the pudding lab. So believe you me, they were cooking puddings and whatever they had, they were trying the whole day. They were cooking it and preparing it and seeing if the quality was all right and stuff. And in the evening, I could take any amount of whatever they did cook over the day home. <laughs> And for the first two days, I was like, yes, great. And then after the third day, it started already. Whoa, I can't eat that much, you know. <laughs> so, but it was a nice experience. And, and it was good to see how thorough they really were with the quality control. So wouldn't you know how to make pudding from scratch then? Uh, no, because they used the, the package. Oh, they use they did not own... develop there really. What they oh. did was they did quality control. So they would oh. take random samples mm -hmm. from, from what was produced and mm -hmm. cook it to see if it was up to uh, far, okay. you know? Because I was just like, if she didn't know to make pudding and not make none, all these years, like... Well, making pudding is not hard, you know? The hardest part is to get a real vanilla, if yeah. you want vanilla pudding. It's just flour, egg, egg, uh, uh, the, the yellow of the egg, the and yolk, milk, and, and vanilla, and sugar. It's all. That's how you make pudding. Oh, yeah. But that pudding is really nice because it's really creamy. Believe you me, when I go back to Jamaica, mm -hmm, I'm going to take a few packages of that. And tartan goods. What is tartan goods in English? I don't know. I'm just enjoying the sun right now. <laughs> <laughs> See, she doesn't even pay you no mind anymore. Wow. I'm not paying you any mind. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Um, tartan goose is what the it's not like the clear I, stuff that you yeah. put on top of fruit cakes, like what we it's close to gelatin but not yeah, as but as, as um sturdy as gelatin. And over there's billiard, let's show you. But Jesus Christ, people, this you can still man. enjoy the sun. Look, the sun is over this. there too. Why are we so comfortable right now? No, come on. <laughs> no, come home. One of the things that mommy, mommy, not deal with me nice more well, you know. Mommy, don't deal with me nice more well. So I'll share one. And this over there, the big buildings are Gilead. Gilead is a hospital. And if you have been following my stories, that is where I was. Uh, where I spent two nights or three nights when Mayumi was born and, and they had to take out whatever. Mm -hmm. Right here. Mayumi? See, 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 see the hospital where you send your mother there? <laughs> That's where you sent your mommy. You. <laughs> well, actually, girl. It, it is a very nice hospital. I, I know. Say. But I'm just telling her, Mayumi, I say you send your mother, yeah? <laughs> and again, as a, I think, uh, interesting information, Gilead belongs to a, practically it's it's village size uh, part of Bielefeld, uh, where you will find a lot of handicapped and uh, psychological or mentally ill people have found their home. Disabled, yeah. It's a huge place. You know, and people walk around in the streets freely. They have their own uh, supermarket or uh, oh, so it's it's a it's a town in money. it in their self. It's a town. It is a town in itself. And they have but their own open. money. Yeah, they have their own money because what happened if you, if the people are severely handicapped and they would walk out the streets here with real money mm -hmm. and sp they would spend it for foolishness. So what they try is to teach them mm -hmm. how to spend money carefully mm -hmm. and do it with their own money uh, because a lot of them so what is the what money they called to do there is to, to um, integrate all these people in society mm -hmm. 
I used to work for a uh, place where I had to drive a few people Disabled that were people. in wheelchairs. I picked them up early in the morning. I got a bus, like a small bus, picked them up early in the morning with a wheelchair, pushed them in the bus and had to tighten them and stuff. I always like four to five passengers. Mm -hmm. And I would drive them to their working places. Mm -hmm. which these people would have never been able to work in, in a normal job but they created jobs for them, made them earn money, helped them to get self-esteem mm -hmm. and, and see that they are worthy to do something instead of lying in bed the whole day and, and under some medication and like that you know so that was a very it's a very integral part of Bielefeld mm -hmm. to have these people integrated in the society as much as possible yeah of course you have some there's one house for the really heavy duty mm -hmm. um, dangerous and violent and aggressive people they mm -hmm. cannot come back. okay <clears throat> but I mean they have everything there they have for children they have for adults they have for whatever a problem you might have, they mm -hmm. have their station for that. So what is their money called? Do you know that? Uh, it used to be Beetle, Beetle Tala, I think. So was it like... It was like, it was it printed was really, it was printed, printed money, money, like paper money? I, mean, I know it's just accepted there, but... Yeah, but it was the equivalent, I think it was the equivalent to, to the bar at the time or not. So they still use it now, you think? I think they still use it. Mm. But this is a, is a normal hospital. I mean, people who get sick just go there and they have uh, all everything you need to, to be treated. Yeah. There's only one hospital though. We have another one that side. We have, we have a bunch hospitals. of hospitals. We have one yeah. close to where our house is. I know. Which used to be a, a monastery, actually. And uh, when I broke my leg, I was about, I think, six years old. I broke my leg one time and I was uh, put in that hospital and I had pure nuns around me. You know, the real heavy duty ones with the black uh, habit and, and mm -hmm. white stuff around their faces and so. Mm -hmm. That has hospital was run by them. Mm. And I was so afraid of them. <laughs> I couldn't stand it. <laughs> Seriously. And they kept me six weeks in hospital for one normal. I mean, it was like a pop. Right? Just broke, straight, no problems. Mm. Nowadays, they would give you a car and send you home. Mm -hmm. I spent six weeks in hospital. Damn. In my summer holidays as a student. Mm -hmm. yeah, that mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. But that's actually where I started to read. Because my grandmother brought me some books. Mm -hmm. And I was so just starting to read in school and stuff, and suddenly I, I was so bored <laughs> that I started to read those books and in no time. Mm okay. And it was my passion from ever since. So that was the one good thing came out of it. <laughs> So what I just realized as well is that all of these stones here have names engraved in them as well. So not those light color ones, just the, the dark ones. I think some of them are from uh, people that got married up here. Mm. Because this is a, 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 a very nice spot to have a wedding. I wouldn't want to get married here. Why? Nah. <laughs> Nah. Nah. There's a little, I don't know what that is. Um, but we're going to go to the, closer to the ruins now. Some of me is saying that all of these small holes here were like places where they would have their weapons and they would shoot through so you know this is one you can see 
look how high we are and everywhere where you see those little openings i guess those are all places where they would shoot from so you know it was well protected for sure so we're just sitting on a bench right now going to, going to enjoy the sunshine a little bit more um and then we're going to continue our tour there's not much left just the main thing right there and uh well and then his that would pretty much be because i won't show you the restaurant area and stuff because that's kind of boring but yeah just going to continue enjoying the sun right now and then continue our tour this is the ruin section um no not much left really but they they did this part i guess where you know to allow something to grow on the top of it so it looks a bit nicer because it would just be it would just be stones i suppose there's not much to see around here there's just these you know i guess there was a passage right there um and stuff like that oh well, mommy did you see that they did this part they layered stuff so they yeah so they can grow these stuff on it because on all of them you have it yeah i told them there was a passageway right there but we're going to head up to the well right now so this is the well the water supply the water supply that they had as you can see I don't know. Oh, there's still water down there, though. Yeah, of course. You can see the light shining on it down there. Let me see if I can show you guys. Hold on. So, that part there, you can see it bubbling up a little. That's actually the water. That part that looks like a bunch of spots. <laughs> That's water. Boy, it's super far, man. Like right, this is super far, and this would be the 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 wheel that they would use to you you know um pull up the buckets or let them down. So I guess at the sides you used to have some form of handles on this that you would turn and turn so you could you know pull up or let down the buckets but yeah it's quite big let me show you mommy is sitting right there and this is the size of it so it wasn't small or anything it was actually quite big but yeah it's so deep though and then this is the tower guys so this is the base base of the tower so if you look all the way up there, that is the tower. And here they have the description for the tower. Uh, the, the well is 183 feet deep. And what they did after in the 16th century, they used to have cisterns for water. That means they, they had some places where they caught water. So this was um, oh, and they got even water from uh, a pipe from the mountain there, from the little. So you can pause the video again. Until then, uh, farmers had to bring up water for for the people up here. That's what they say here. You can pause the video and read the text if you would like to. 
There's a wasp right here trying to. <laughs> um, look, if you're standing right here, you can't see much. Um, and this is the tower, guys. Oh, they actually have like a depiction of the tower. So this is what the inside looks like. These are stairs. Steps, yeah. So you go up the stairs, yeah, up the stairs, up the stairs. Steps, and then this is this is a spiral stair and then you would be all the way at the top. Yeah. How many stairs? 120 I heard. You heard? They've never counted the stairs? Well, it must be 120, that's what I read. So these are the details um the tower height is 31.5 meters how many feet is that 96 feet. about 96 feet around 100 feet it was erected in 1842 and then this part is the tower dungeon and the this is the medieval keep i remember actually mommy do you remember that the um birthday party i went to yeah. they they had a birthday party in the dungeon up here okay. yeah, yeah. so it was like a kid's birthday party i think it was a classmate or something back then and they decided to have a birthday party in the dungeon section so just you know tables and stuff and they would we would end up just play out here in the field and so on but yeah it was interesting we ate down there you know i think we played hide and seek and stuff like that and right here we have another statue which was from 1914 to 1918. And apparently it was for the for 82 officers and 3388 uh what is what is under officer sub officers or whatever and another infantry regiment was officers are soldiers well, officers are soldiers. Officers are the higher soldiers. That was 82 and then 3,388 soldiers uh, were killed. And then this bottom one is, uh, I think, well, both. They were killed and uh, miss missing in action. Mm -hmm. This is for... So that was the... Because well, that is from the World here. War, um, from 1914 to 1918. That's World War One. Yeah, and this is 1921 to 1945. Well, I don't know. Well, from 39 to 45 was World War Two. So uh -huh. 21, I don't know where that come in, but uh, that's pretty early. That would only be three years after after the other one. Yeah. But World War Two started in thirty nine and went on to nineteen forty five. My mother lived that. My grandmother actually lived through two world wars. And you were born ten years later. And I was born ten years after the second world war was finished. Yep. And I still grew up in ruins here. Mm -hmm. There were still quite a few ruins. And this is where the gatehouse is located. If you want to pause the video, as usual, you can and read this text. And this is it from this side. So as you can see, I guess this is more like the the the, the center of the. This was the, the center of the, the castle. Basically. Yeah. It looks like a woman. Oh, this is coming from the one of the houses that we will show you later on in the center of the town. Mm -hmm. Is it a woman? A woman with her dog? 
because that's a dog and I see two boobies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't even know. And a belly. The nose is almost gone. This is like really old. Old, old. Yeah. So guys, they actually allow you to um, go up the tower and I was just ready to go and do that but um, we found out that on Saturdays it's only until 4 p.m. and it's 15 past 4 right now and um, on, oops, on the other days it's until 6 p.m. So of course we had to come on the day where it's earlier but yeah I even got to convince mommy to go up all those stairs with me and now they're not open because I really would have wanted to show you the view from up there but sorry can't do maybe anything we'll about it before before we go back yeah maybe we can we leave out. maybe we could um, come up here another time again and try and show you again but yeah we're just going to head back in town and just you know continue walking and wherever our feet lead us that's where we're going because right now we don't really have a plan so I'm not sure if we are heading straight home or if we will be you know, stopping somewhere just else first. Just tell them about that part there, the promenade. Where? So it's this park... We are not going there now, but you can walk pretty far. Okay. So that park over there, she's saying that you can walk really far. But we're walking past our... Yeah. Our path. Who is singing? I hear singing. Oh, they're up there? Yeah, out there so you have some people singing. But we're going to head back down now. Is there an, another walkway there? Should we walk there? The entrance. Oh my god, mommy, the huh? air that is coming from under here is so cold. Uh -huh. Come stand right here. I know, I feel it over there. The right. air that is pushing out of this, this place is, I see. is cold, like you would not stand up in front of our fridge. But you can't see, there is like a pathway. So, focus. You see? Actually, this is the part I was talking about. When people would come through or in, in through from here, they would walk up there, and that is where the hole is where I was telling you uh, they would uh, put the, uh, hot the, lava, the boiling tar. The army um, yeah, the tar. Uh -huh. So that's why it's on a slope like that, so it could run down right. as well. So oh. it would kind of catch them. Because this, this is not flat, it's actually like on a slope. Yeah, it's it's a good. Slope. Interesting. So one of the entrances where an enemy could have come in and actually they let them come in in order to kill them too. But the air that yeah. was coming out Ooh. of that place, man. Still a freeze. Jesus Christ, it was so so cold. I can't imagine. But if it's this cold in can warm you, weather like this you in winter. Can imagine in winter? They must have been freezing. <laughs> That's crazy. Like you felt like you were standing, like you know when you hold your hand, put your hand in the freezer and stuff like that. That's how cold it felt. There's another opening right here. But it's so weird though. Why is there cold air pushing out of it? Well, there are so many openings, so it's just how the air flows. Uh, so. Yeah, I actually did a photo shoot in these areas. <laughs> Remember when I was an ambassador for 
a swimsuit line yeah, yeah. and the person came to Germany to take pictures mm. it was like on these path can probably if I can find the pictures I'll put it in I was super skinny though <laughs> <laughs> I was so skinny back then um that was like probably yeah probably four four years ago but yeah we are just heading back now um my friend just called me Dory so we we're going to meet her and you know just chill it's so nice to just chill not have anything planned not have too many obligations right now you want to walk down there because you can walk this way too I think can you? I don't know. Yeah, but then we reach too far out at the end of the road. Okay, we're gonna walk this way. Um, but yeah, like these past few days have been more of vacationing because we had to quarantine for five days, but we did our test yesterday and it was negative so if it was negative we would have to quarantine for 10 days but because it was negative you know we are officially off of our quarantine um so yeah we're just enjoying ourselves a little and then we will start our business stuff that we came here to do so vacation will be over soon but we're still gonna have fun while we're here so don't worry about that you will still get content um but yeah mommy all right yep. okay so we're almost at back at the main road so actually not bad so we are at the Back at the main now, and this is the front part or the other side of the um, art museum. There's a music school right here, and yeah, this is the front part of the, the museum. So you have this big metal thing where I don't know what it is for, but I think oh, it's like. But, yeah, the thinker is gone. There used yeah, to be a statue on that box. For Buddha. But I think they, they lend it all to Paris. They so lend it Buddha out. Because I, I have a picture with it as well, so yeah. I'll put it in for you guys. But I think it's Coming back in November. In November it will be back. Okay. So the entrance and the building is quite big. Um, and then this is a bus stop. You know how many years this last was actually. I think it was meant to be like this. So a bunch of broken glass. Um, but I don't remember this one being broken. I know this was broken for a long time. So yeah. This was broken for a long time. And they had you see how people try to vandalize the song. Um And they always have like, um, what do they call it? Exhibitions, art exhibitions at different dates and stuff like that. And then you also have this statue right here with our big toe. <laughs> Probably, do, do you think they rub it for a look? Because look at the big toe. The big toe is shiny. <laughs> 
<laughs> over there where we feel good look. But that girl thick thick. Look at her cheese. She thick thick. <laughs> <laughs> Say anything was wrong with it. I just said she thick thick, which is good. <laughs> oh I'm going to actually call call Dory soon Look to see where she's at. Mommy's in love with this tree. She's just in love with that tree, man. There was a child I used to come here and and pick up the chestnut and and bring it to. We have a little zoo here. Uh, where we might go as well and I brought it there to, to feed the deers and stuff they love to eat them <laughs> <laughs> she made it guys <laughs> she made it Zara schon wieder? Nein, there's my pony drin. Ich habe mich viel zu viel angezogen. Because I was just going to cuss you out, girl. No. Listen, every day I miss you, she has a Zara bag. Nein. Yes. Versprochen. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so going just, I don't know, where should we go? Mother. Somewhere in the sun. Somewhere in the sun. <laughs> um, I guess we'll just walk into the town area right here and see where we can stop yeah. she got inches mm -mm. <laughs> so we decided on getting some ice cream well me and mommy because Dory wants to eat sushi Blah. I don't like sushi um, and we're gonna get some ice cream right now so, let's see. so I got myself mango and cookie. Mommy got Malaga and coffee. No, was was it coffee? You changed no. it to coffee. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> this is what we're going to eat. This, the cost of this was um, two euro and. 40 cents each so 480 for both of them which I don't know how much that is in Jamaican dollars right now or US dollars but not a bad price okay voiceover melody here again I forgot to you know record an outro so that's why you're getting to see my lovely niece Kiki Anyways, guys, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in our next video. Please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. Share with your friends, families, you know, I don't know, whoever. Please just share and let's grow together. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.